A former South Florida model has a warning about the high cost of looking good after she took a popular pill used to treat everything from high blood pressure to liver disease, even PMS. But in this case, that model used the pill to lose weight. And as our health specialist Christy Kruger shows us, it's a tragic case of a woman who was literally dying to be thin. South Florida, home to some of the most tan and toned bodies in America. But for some, those six pack abs come at a price. Vivian Freed knows that all too well. The 51-year-old former model is waiting for a kidney transplant. Her own organs shut down three years ago. Daily dialysis keeps her alive. Vivian's health crisis began the day she started modeling. I wanted to be the perfect daughter, the perfect wife, the perfect friend. And I always wanted to look good. Looks were the most important thing in my life. That obsession with looking good took a dangerous turn when Vivian began abusing diuretics or water pills to lose weight and get those coveted high cheekbones. Hydrochlorothiazide is commonly prescribed to treat heart failure and hypertension, but some doctors also believe the pill can ease symptoms of PMS. Vivian says it was easy to get and easy to misuse. I took the Diet Coke, let's just say, because I got very thirsty. And then I, of course, I had in my purse three or four diuretics. And then right after I took the Diet Coke, I took the diuretics so I can just let it all out. Because I, what I wanted to do is feel skinny and I don't want to feel bloated. Vivian didn't know the diuretics were slowly killing both her kidneys. The truth is, this machine could keep Vivian alive forever. But at what price? She's here six days a week for three to four hours every single day. That's why Vivian's husband, Jim, is working so hard now to find his wife a new kidney, spending hours filling out paperwork for transplant waiting lists and working social media to get the word out about living donors. He's not a candidate to donate one of his kidneys, but hopes someone else will step up and donate one of theirs. I'm fully consumed. Even when we're asleep at night, I'm listening to the trouble that Vivian's having breathing and knowing I gotta get her a kidney. And while she waits, Vivian says she wants to be a voice for others who may be dying to be thin, warning others about the potential dangers of diuretics. Before I knew it, I was into diuretics, laxatives, and I self-inflicted all this pain on myself without even realizing where I was gonna end up. If I knew that I was gonna end up six days a week on dialysis, I would have never done this, ever. A powerful message Vivian hopes will save a life. In Miami, I'm Christy Krueger, Local 10 News. If you would like to learn more about the Living Donor Program at the Miami Transplant Institute, we have a link to the center at Jackson Memorial Hospital right on our website for you, local10.com. A group of